I wish this is not true. I can only believe this because I saw it on Actors Guild of Nigeria page. And that is Patience Ozokwo, a Nollywood actress expressing her emotions at the passing of Rachel Oniga, who is another Nollywood actress, one of the foundation actresses in the Nollywood. It is very sad. It is heartbreaking. Actually, this news broke around 10 p.m. on Friday night. Hi, guys. You're watching M Chicky Series. If you're a journey subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable. As we get right into this video, and also hit the red subscribe button and turn your notification bell on. That way you get our latest updates. So it has been a sad news indeed. The Nollywood actress Rachel Oniga, who is one of the foundation actresses in the Nollywood, has passed on to glory. And this sad event took place on Friday night around 10 p.m. And an official statement has been released on her passing. So it reads to us, with a heavy heart and total submission to God, their right to announce the passing unto glory of their beloved sister, mother, and grandmother, Chief Rachel Tabuno Oniga, who passed unto glory in a Lagos hospital at the age of 64 on Friday, 30th July 2021, at about 10 p.m., contrary to the diverse reports informing that she gave up as a result of C-19 complications, their right to inform the general public that she passed on from a heart-related issue, an ailment she battled with for a short period before her demise. So they went on to say that the burial arrangement will be announced in due course and they are pleading with the public to allow them to mourn her death privately for now with deep respect for her soul and glorious life she lived that they accept her sudden transition as God's design painful as it may be they accept it in good faith sign the connest Tony Odu Sote sister for the family Rachel Oniga is a very private person in 1993 she divorced her now late husband after he left her for another woman though her husband is late now she is a proud mother of three the actress became a grandmother on September 5th 2014 after her daughter Georgia Oniga welcomed the baby girl. Since her divorce, she personally took care of her children, funding their education and meeting their other needs. Her former husband was said to have died only recently and she says she's not a widow since herself and her husband were separated long before his demise. She loves to dress comfortably and elegantly. Mrs. Oniga, who hailed from Delta State, was born on May 23rd, 1957 in Ebutemeta, Lagos. The veteran actress featured in some of the best English and the Yoruba Nollywood movies until her death. She became a household name after starring in Yoruba classic family drama, Owo Blow. Mrs. Oniga began her acting career shortly after her divorce. She was a full-time housewife before then and a computer programmer. After the separation, she went into business, trading, traveling, and buying things. She worked briefly at Asco Line, Nigeria Limited, a Dutch consultant company, before she made an acting debut in the Nollywood Classic Memorial Hospital in 1993, and her debut Yoruba movie was Owo Blue. Over the years, the multiple award-winning actress featured in notable Nigerian films including Sango, Wala Denuga's television series Super Stories. Actually, I really enjoyed this super story. It's a super story. I like the way she acted in Super Story. She always makes people laugh, though she's not a stand-up comedian. Another film of hers is Dr. Bello, Out of Bound, 30 Days in Atlanta, The Royal Hibiscus Hotel, The Wedding Party, and most recently, My Village People. Her last public appearance was on June 6th, which was the premiere for this My Village People. It's really sad. It's really heartbreaking. May God rest her soul. Oh, Rachel. I can't believe this. I thought it was one of those scams. If anyone had told me it's so going to be so soon, I won't believe it. Rachel. We had discussions together the last time we met when we were doing Chief Daddy Part 2. Wonderful light dress. Bold and beautiful. Oh my goodness, I wish this is not true. I wish this is not true. I can only believe this because I saw it on Actors Guild of Nigeria page. 
Nobody even told me you were sick. I couldn't even say sorry to you, my friend. Rich. Sorry, my sister. Sorry, oh. The sorry I couldn't say to you when you were sick. I didn't know you were sick. I'm not even in the country. Do oh one name do. My sister from another mother. All the plants we are together, God just like that. The devil has done his work. No. So sad. So heart rending. So sad, really. Patience Ozokwo has expressed herself, and other actresses and actors also shared their tribute on their Instagram post. But something happened because I saw Ketensha online. She made a post saying that people are blaming people to pay tribute, to post tribute on their pages. I don't know what's wrong with some people. Ketensha felt that she wants to address it. Good afternoon. Um, I usually wouldn't bother about this kind of thing, but there's a behavior that is rampant on social media that is so, so wrong and reprehensible. You cannot tell people how to mourn. You cannot tell people how to feel about certain deaths. Okay? People that they've had relationships with, people that they've known. People woke up to a very, very sad news. I mean, I'm one of them that... I. I, I came for this cancer thing to try and enlighten women, support Cancer Care Foundation. Only for me, as I'm walking into the venue, greeting women, and I heard the very terrible news of Auntie Rachel, whom I've known, I don't know, since 1996, yet another day, so many close chapter, so many movies, even Chief Daddy that we just finished in May. You know, it's so sad, a sad loss. But then, you, 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 you mourners, uh, uh, mobile monarch police you are put, trolling people's pages and asking them uh, why have you not posted don't do that don't do that you don't know how people choose to mourn you don't know you don't know how people have set about their day they have things to do and then they just this just comes suddenly upon them and they're still trying to take it in it's not everybody that is given to PDA which is public display of affection it's not don't do it and if you bring it to my page, I'm going to block you. Leave people to mourn the way they choose. Okay? Stop stop being a nosy. Stick to your page. You're going around people's pages. Like, Have you not heard? Why are you posting it? Don't do it. For goodness sake. May I so rest in peace. Auntie Rachel will miss you. I mean, she, this life, eh? Please, please, prioritize your health. Check your health. Check your health. Women, men, everyone. Exercise and just try to stay alive. I know we're not going to live this world alive. We're all going to die one day. Okay? Do the one you can do and let God just take over. Thank you very much and stay safe out there. God bless. It is really funny how some people reason. So, if one doesn't make a post... On his or her instagram page or maybe on any of the social media spaces which means the person has not sent condolence people have forgotten that there is life beyond social media people can still go and visit the family they can also write letter find a way of doing that not necessarily on social media i don't know what's wrong with some people this social media madness is getting out of hand let me know what you think in the comment section people who are doing that so i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed